intermediate solo number one, flam action. Uh, flam action is at 94 beats per minute, which is about here. Okay, so it's not too fast. Okay, this is the first solo. They start to get a little bit trickier after this, but you know, sort of easing you into it tempo-wise, because you know, if you if you've just sort of come from all the beginner solos, uh, you're going to have a hard enough time trying to get your hands around all the sticking with the flams uh, that are in this solo. Uh, we don't want to go too fast as well. Um, so just with uh, even the first bar, things to think of or, or take note of in this solo. The first phrase is. Okay, one and a two and a three and four and one. You can see that you've got accents on one and two, and you've also got accents on the and of three and the and of four. So once again, as I said in the previous sections, the way to bring out the accents is to not play them any harder than you're already doing it, assuming that you're giving it, you know, sort of half stroke, that's enough. What you need to do is make sure that the in-between sixteenth notes are softer, okay, and that by contrast will then automatically bring the uh, other notes out uh, louder. So Make sure you're not playing it all at the same volume level. Don't go. Okay, monotone. We don't want that. That's not musical. We need to convey the pulse. So we get. Okay, so one and a two and a three e and four e and. So the and a of one and the and a of two and then the one, uh, sorry, the three e and the four e, they're all really soft. So we know how to play soft. We drop the sticks from a low height. Tap stroke. Okay, so be aware of that the whole way through. Usually throughout this piece, uh, all of the all of the flam notes are accents. Okay, so uh, that's fairly um, it's an easy thing to sort of remember there. Um, in uh, the first bar of B, you're using a flam tap. Okay, so you're going. On beat three, you're playing one and a two. So you're playing uh, right flam right, and then left flam left and then back to right flam. But otherwise, it's just alternating single strokes with a flam on the downbeat. Okay, so you can see here, you know, we're starting to include some of the flam rudiments, you know, some of the 26 standard, you know, American uh, drumline rudiments we're using flam taps. Eventually we'll be using, <coughs> excuse me, we'll be using like flam accents, which is where you play a flam on every third stroke. One and a two and a three and a four and a one, things like that. Okay. Uh, also, in this piece, pay attention to like at section C and the bar before C, we're using sextuplets or 30 second note triplets. So we're doing things like or or sorry. Okay, things like that. So um, that's sort of the first time uh, that you're playing 30 second note triplets uh, in the entire piece. So make sure that you really subdivide that quite well throughout that section. Uh, at the very end, the last bar, I want you to play those flams really super, super open, really lazy like. Okay, not, not sort of tight like you were the whole way through like. Or I want them really lazy. Almost like sort of 16th notes, split wide open. The phrase is one and a two and three, okay? But I want them really split. Okay, okay, so that's uh, intermediate solo number one. Let's have a look at flam action. <laughs> 